Uh, my name is Paul Galish, and uh, this is Rudy Menendez, uh, our CTO. Uh, I'm founder and CEO of Voxy, and we're really excited to be here today to talk about how Voxy is going to disrupt the $80 billion market for language learning. At its core, Voxy is about three things. We take relevant topical content, mobile technology, and gaming mechanics, and we've created an innovative language learning solution that integrates seamlessly into your life. So let's start with the problem. And I think Chomsky actually says it really well. He says that about 98% of the problem in teaching is just to get students interested. But if you look at language learning today, it's anything but interesting. And most of you can probably relate to this. It's time intensive, it's dull, and it lacks any relevant connection to your life. But Voxy's gonna change that in two really cool ways. First, we take topical content that you're actually reading anyway, and we convert it into educational programming. These are your new textbooks. Then we take that, we break it into three minute, very small, bite sized modules, and we serve it to you everywhere. With Voxy, new cl your classrooms are everywhere. So let's take a look at a typical student's experience with Voxy's adaptive, synchronous, and personalized language curriculum across SMS, mobile, and web. So while this business clearly scales by language and country, we're going to follow Manny, who's one of 20 million US Hispanics that have a real emotional and financial need to learn English. So let's see, we can switch over to the Elma. Let's see what his experience is like on the base of the mobile pyramid, which is SMS. Bank, can we go over to the Elma? So Manny's on his way to work, and he gets a, a, a topical news alert from Voxy about his favorite television show, American Idol. This one's about J-Lo, and I guess she's getting paid $12 million to be host of American Idol. So there's a couple things. We pack a lot of what we call edutainment into just 160 characters. Um, so the first sentence you're going to see is in uh, his native tongue, which is what linguists call L1. What that does is it reduces the frustration that all of us have felt when we're learning a new language. Then we require that Manny actually have some linguistic output. So he types the word same, which is the answer, same and shame, two frequently confused words. And he gets immediate feedback in the form of translations. Come on, Twilio. In the form of translations and a fun contextual language learning tip, which is not coming. Anyway, we push these out, and you'll see a very simple technology is um, an excellent way to incorporate language learning um, into your daily life. So let's go take a look at what, um, what Manny's experience would look like on a richer mobile platform, a downloadable mobile app. So later that day, Manny's got a bit more time and he gets another news alert. And this one's about the NFL, American football. Um, let's pause for a second and, and, and think about Voxy's core pedagogy. You're gonna see it's about an 80, oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Twilio. That was the uh, text message answer. Um, so we're going, to see, we're going to see an 80 to 110 word passage that's adapted to exactly Manny's skill level. Then the, the links that you see in there are words that are selected, which are slightly beyond his comprehension. And that's, what's called, that's what linguists will call scaffolding. So we basically provide him a little bit of support to help comprehend uh, the, the English lesson that he's taking. By the way, audio on the, well, let's see. Um, let's take a look at the, at the scaffolding if we can. We provide pronunciations, definitions, and average. Wow. Um, and so after Manny completes that, it's a little, it's about a three minute exercise. And the bottom here is, is a one simple question, and it's really the most relevant one. Did he get it? After he's done on the mobile app, he can surf around other stories that he may have missed. And he can even check out his personalized curriculum that comes with him. You'll notice that the, the word that he learned on, via text that day is right there, once again. With Same. Um, so um, let's take a look at um, the experience on the web. Wow, we have a minute left. So on the web, later that night, he's got about five minutes while his girlfriend's getting ready. 
So he checks out Voxy. He can browse between a number of different stories, and he can even pick up exactly where he left off. We don't have time now. We also have um, uh, the ability to, to transcribe the passage itself, um, so, which is a very powerful language, so you're able to combine audio and visual. Um, but I also want to take this opportunity to show you the gaming mechanics that we've built into Voxy. So there's three core behaviors that we're trying to motivate, and we use streaks, words, and points for that. So streaks is the consistency of studying. That's a really important thing with Voxy. It's three minutes a day, but it's every day, and you integrate it into your life. Second is the number of words you've collected, which is basically how much content have you truly tried to master. And the third is points, which we, um, which we uh, give you during the interactive games that we have that we uh, overlay on top of this. Um, I do want to talk briefly about our revenue model because the unit economics are quite compelling. Um, so if we can go back to the PowerPoint. Um, we've tested a number of different, uh, of different acquisition channels, including communities, schools, ESL programs. Um, and we can acquire students for just about a dollar. Um, we will not only have the most innovative product on the market, but we're also going to be a really low cost leader. Um, and it's, there's a lot of willingness to pay. Um, it's an $80 billion market, and people are paying every day for this type of educational content. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, once again, we're launching in English, uh, but very soon we're scaling to other languages, and we hope to teach you guys all a language from your life. That was Voxy. Um, Let's start with Victoria. Were you edutained by Voxy? <laughs> uh, so I like the concept um, in that it's just this much more interactive, and I guess it's the sort of thing that's happening all day long. Yeah, so exactly. instead of setting aside your hour every day to learn English or Spanish, you're actually doing it throughout yeah. the day. I don't know if that could sometimes become a little disruptive, but I guess you'll figure that out. Um, it, but I guess just to clarify, this is additive, right? This is not going to teach you a language. This is going to help you practice a language. I mean, there was, there was nothing there that's going to help you practice speaking a language, give you the very basics. So it seems like, and you highlighted that in the last slide, um, it seems like this would be best suited with, uh, you know, you've got your Spanish course in college, and you add this um, as an additive to do practice in a really engaging way outside of the schools. And so in that respect, are you thinking of selling this uh, directly to the consumer, or will you partner with universities, partner with language schools, partner with other organizations, and this is an additional learning tool? Um, so, so two great points there. Um, first of all, I think that to get somebody from zero to sort of fluent, we're not going to get them from zero. But what we target and what's most prevalent in the US Hispanic population is what they call false beginners. Um, so they've been exposed to the language enough times that you don't really need to teach them he is and you are. What you need to teach them is the vocabulary and the concepts, the structural concepts, which Voxy can do a really good job of doing. Um, so I think it is going to supplement in, in many cases, um, and that's actually what we originally started at, but down the product roadmap, we have so many exciting things happening that we're pretty sure that we're going to be able to be a comprehensive solution. Okay. Sean? Yeah, you know, I, I agree with some of these remarks. I, I, I do think there's a, a cleverness to the approach and that it's it's not something that you have to sit down and use, you know, in, a, in an engrossing way. It's something that gets more integrated into your day-to-day -day life. So I, 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 like the, I like that there's a, a cleverness. I like that you're trying to um, solve a, a problem that's been approached in a, a lot of different ways in a, in a somewhat novel way. Um, I think it would be interesting to learn more about what that product roadmap is, where you intend to take this thing. Um, in, you know, in, in its present form, I could, I'm, it's, it's hard for me to see it really really catching on. Um, you know, I, th I think, again, it gets back to how do you really get distribution? How do you reach your target market? Um, and then I would ask sort of the more general question of, you know, why is this the problem that you chose to solve? Uh, so I'll take those in inverse order. Um, I chose to solve this problem because I spent most of my 20s living and working in Spanish-speaking countries in South America and Spain. Um, prior to starting this company, I was a venture investor, actually, for um, Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Um, and language learning has always been a passion of mine. Um, and I really saw this as like an incredible idea. I mean, this, I think, is the way to learn. Um, I've tried to learn a number of languages. I've succeeded in some. I've failed in others. Um, and sort of the, the product roadmap that we're developing, I think, is clearly, in my opinion, of course, the best way to learn a language. Um, your first question was distribution. Um, and that is, of course, the million dollar question. As we started to develop this over the last six months, we started to get more excited about the distribution options. Um, I'll just give you one example that's sort of interesting. Um, we've partnered with a, a prepaid calling card company. Um, that actually, so a million Hispanics a day will call home using these prepaid calling cards. We tested 40,000 impressions with this seven second audio spot um, where you press nine to get free English lessons on your phone. Um, we literally blew their network away. It was five times their average for click through. Um, and we have those people in our database right now working with them, converting them into, into paying customers. So it's a great question. Um, that's cool. 
James? Uh, so tell us more about um, sort of what is the secret sauce in your company? Like what is it that you, you, got, you and your team are excellent at or going to be excellent at in order to be successful here? Uh, so I think we combine a lot of skill sets, but... Um, What's the one thing you guys are going to be excellent at? Uh, I would say media and technology. And I think that's, that's a skill set that hasn't really been applied to language learning. Um, and I think that's sort of our special sauce. Greg looks visibly puzzled by that, <laughs> by that comment. <coughs> um, well, I'll, I'll just leave that comment. Um, <laughs> so my, my, my question is around revenue monetization. So um, you, you show that you could make $7 to $9 per user lifetime. Um, how are you going to do that? So we're going to start with, subscription, with a subscription model um, that is ranging from $1 to $10 per month. Um, the typical programs out there are between 50 and 1,000. Mm -hmm. So there's sort of a, a lot of willingness to pay. And we're coming in with a section of the market that's, that's a lot, obviously, lower priced. Um, the, the, there's a couple of other monetization opportunities. Um, but th the way that I got to that number is based on some pretty conservative churn assumptions and based on who's actually actively learning you know, every day. Gotcha. But, um, did, did, I, did that answer your question? Yep. 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 Were you puzzled by something else that I, that I didn't cover? Um, uh, well, I'd I'll, love I'll, to know I'll, why you why you look so puzzled. Uh, Don't hold I, back. I, was, I, was, I was puzzled at what, what you meant by being excellent at media and technology, <laughs> okay, especially so. when, when when James asked you to name one thing. <laughs> okay, I'll go with media. Yeah. So if you look at language learning in general, it's a lot of static content, and most of it is shrink wrapped and shipped into Barnes and Noble or shipped in these annoying yellow boxes, right? So what we do is we create really fresh content by partnering with content providers. We have a lot of technology that can convert that and uh, like using different readability indexes and do some really cool stuff to actually convert it into content. Um, but then we, we, I, I grew up sort of in old school media, like in a magazine company. So acquiring subscribers is sort of something that, that I, I sort of do. So it is, it is truly a media, sort of media education play in my mind. Gotcha. That I, gotcha. I don't know. OK, Great. well, we're out of time. So round of applause for Voxy. OK, then. Well, uh, you ready? Oh, almost. Oh, there's, there's things happening. <coughs> this is exciting. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't had enough cool stuff brought on stage. There's not enough products and things. So I don't know what this is, but it's, it's already won in my heart. Um, <laughs> all right, please welcome to the stage uh, Locke. Thank you.